What is going on guys? The other day we had a video request to dive a little bit deeper into combination runes at Guardians of the Rift. So that's exactly what we're going to be doing today as well as discussing why you should be doing combination runes within this mini game and the two different inventory setups for this method. So to dive straight into things, combination runes are two elemental runes that you can combine together at an altar that will give you three elemental points as opposed to two per rune that you craft. So overall you're just going to increase the amount of elemental points you can get in this mini game by 50% which will drastically decrease the amount of time it takes to receive all the different rewards and uh, for the first uh, setup is going to be the efficiency setup it just depends on whether you have the abyssal lantern with redwood logs um, on your account or if you have a rune crafting cape so that your rune pouches aren't uh, degrading and so for this setup we're going to have our rune crafting pouches in the top left hand corner we're going to have some binding necklaces as well as one equipped and then we also want to have water runes as this is going to be the rune that we're using to combine with the altar and then for our rune pouch we want to have aster runes as well as mud runes and steam runes these are going to be the two combination runes that we're creating and then the fourth rune can be optional i'm personally just using cosmic runes but you can swap this out for bloods or whichever other rune that you're finding that you're crafting within the mini game most often and that's going to be the efficiency setup and then for the npc contact setup if you do need to have access to the npc contact spell to repair your pouches you're also going to need to have air runes so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be swapping out these water runes for air runes and then your uh, rune pouch is basically going to look similar as you're going to have astral runes cosmic runes and then these two combo runes are just going to be smoke runes and mist runes and for the setup, uh, the NPC contact setup, you're going to be using the fire altar and the water altar for your elemental points. And then for the efficiency setup, you're going to be using the fire altar and the earth altar. And we're just going to dive straight into the mini game and show you guys exactly what combination uh, runes look like and how to make them. All right, so we're in the mini game right now. I'm using the efficiency setup, so I'm going to be only looking out for fire altars and earth altars. Uh, if they're not up, then I'm just going to use a catalytic altar and just focus on catalytic points. They should even out if you're only doing two combination altars and then the rest catalytic but for the purpose of the video we're going to wait for an altar that pops up here is an earth altar perfect timing so we're just going to dive straight into it head over to the altar cast magic imbue and then use your water runes on the altar and then empty out your rune pouch water runes altar empty out rune pouch water runes altar and that should create your full amount of elemental or combo runes within your inventory and they should get stored into your rune pouch and you should only use three charges of your binding necklace per rotation. If you're noticing that you're using four charges or anything more than three, then you're probably doing it wrong. But yeah, it's essentially it for making combination runes within this mini game. Uh, and if your uh, binding necklace ends up uh, depleting, you want to make sure you're always equipping the new one in your inventory. If you aren't wearing a binding necklace while you're making a combo rune, it's only going to give you 50% of the points. So just look out for that. Always make sure you have a uh, binding necklace on. And that's essentially it for this video. Hope you guys learned a little bit more about combo runes within Guardians of the Rift. Make sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel, the TikTok, as well as the Twitch. And that's it for me. I'll have you guys. Peace out.